how does paracetamol work? I mean, you have a headache, you take this wonder drug, and magically you're all better. But how? Well, the short answer is, no one really knows. It's crazy, this drug was first synthesised in 1878 out of some carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. It's almost like the scientists at the time were like, you got a headache, here's some random stuff I've jammed together, let's see if this helps. I suppose it's better than leeches. It is crazy to think that no one's been able to figure it out since. But this is how scientists think it might work. When a cell is damaged, it releases arachidonic acid, which is broken down by an enzyme called psychooxygenase, or COX, into prostaglandins, and it's these prostaglandins that cause pain. It seems that paracetamol inhibits the creation of the COX enzymes, kinda… maybe. Even weirder than the fact that scientists can't pin down how it works, they can't decide if paracetamol works at all. It's likely that paracetamol doesn't work for chronic pain, other than having a placebo effect, and studies have shown that it only helps 10% of people with headaches. The reason paracetamol is so readily given, despite its mystery effect and possible ineffectiveness, is that its side effects are mild compared to other painkillers. However, it can still cause bleeding in the gut and liver and kidney failure, so nothing too serious. If you have a quick science question that you want answering, please leave a comment and check out our other stuff. We do longer, less disembodied videos as well.